Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and it's getting harder and harder every day to argue that the future isn't Unreal. And I mean, literally, Unreal Engine is seeming more and more like the future. The stuff they keep releasing and announcing is just staggering. Unlimited polygon sizes in Unreal Engine 5. That is exciting. Quixel, uh, mega scans available for everybody that uses their engine. That is exciting. But today, today we have MetaHumans that you can see from the Unreal presentation video in front of you. This is a tool in the cloud for making uh, realistic, natural-looking humans in under an hour. Yes, that is nuts. And in fact, I wouldn't actually believe it if they didn't release this as well. They released two such humans. These are two human models that were actually created using the MetaHuman process. And let's go take a look at the kind of detail we get out of here. So you can actually get these uh, exported out in various different resolutions for various different hardware. But as you see, as we get, ooh, oh, that was nightmare fuel. Okay, let's not do that again. The uh, level of detail on these humans is staggering. So we get two of these human exports out from the MetaHuman project. Uh, this is obviously one of them. You get all of the stuff that goes together to create it. So uh, you can see it. It is fully rigged. The cool thing too is if you use a MetaHuman and you set up facial animations for it, you can transfer it from one MetaHuman to the other. Uh, there is also another demonstration over here. Here is another MetaHuman from the project in a proper... Oop, I zoomed out past her. I don't know how that worked. And my computer is not happy. So like I said, these are not small uh, at all. So here, oh, they're back to back. All right, so you can see there is the one. MetaHuman, you can create using this. Okay, I gotta turn this way down. This is getting way too fast. Okay, let's do that again in slow motion. So there is one of the demos you can grab from a demo project. And look at look at the skin quality and the hair quality, and like, it's just it's really impressive. These are actual uh, pretty much stand-ins for real humans. Like you could put these in, and the uncanny value valley effect is definitely there. And then again, we saw him in action already. So this is the demo project you can download. You can get it from the learn side of things. And now I'm just going to go ahead and shut it down because, quite frankly, uh, it's causing my computer to chug. So uh, be right back. Now, there were a couple of things that actually led up to this, and it was kind of telegraphed that they were working on digital human technology. And one is they bought this company called Three Lateral, which actually specialized in um, creating digital humans. This was done about two years ago. I covered it on Game from Scratch. I will link to that story as well. You may recognize her from a previous GDC demonstration where uh, people interacted with her live while she was remotely controlled by somebody in another room. And then we've got the acquisition of... Cubic Motion, who also um, specialize in the creation of digital humans. So these two companies together were purchased by Unreal over the last couple of years. On top of that, they've released something called Live Link Face, which is a motion capture application uh, for animating, getting production quality uh, facial animations, but you can use your phone to do so. This is available on the uh, App Store, by the way. And then here is today's announcement, a sneak peek at MetaHuman Creator, where we get into the details. So to create, creating truly convincing digital humans is hard. It takes a huge amount of time, effort, and skill, not to mention costly equipment and staff. There have been some great examples running in Unreal Engine over the past few years from fictional characters such as Senua and Siren. Now, uh, Siren is the... Um, the, the one from the GDC demo, uh, Senua is from Senua Sacrifice, uh, to um, Andy Serkis and Mike Seymour. Companies like Three Lateral and Cubic Motion have led the field in um, creating performance capture driven 4D animation. We're proud both of those are now part of the Epic family. Da 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 da. So we're going to offer you. At first glyphs at MetaHuman Creator. So again, I will link this down below. If you want to watch, watch that whole video, I highly recommend it. Uh, MetaHuman Creator is a cloud-streamed app, uh, so it does run in the server, uh, designed um, to take real-time digital human creation from weeks or months to less than an hour without compromising on quality. It works by drawing from an ever-growing library of variants of human appearance and motion. So I'm guessing those two companies that Epic bought have been just pumping out like real quality digital humans. And then they're probably doing the rest of this with a combination of sort of like deep learning and deep fake kind of techno machine learning and deep fake technology to make this work. Uh, so it works by drawing on an ever-growing library of variants of human uh, appearance and motion, enabling you to create convincing new characters through intuitive workflows that you let you sculpt and craft the result you want. As you make adjustments, MetaHuman Creator blends between actual examples in a library uh, in the library in a plausible data constrained way. You can choose a starting point by selecting a number of preset faces uh, to contribute to your human from the diverse range in the database. 
base. Uh, you can select from around 80 hairstyles that use Unreal Engine strand-based hair or card hairs for lower-end platforms, which is kind of cool because that means you'll be able to use it on you know mobile devices and so on as well. Also, a set of example clothing to choose from, as well as 18 different uh, proportional body types. When you're happy with your human, you can download the asset via Quixel Bridge. Quixel Bridge they acquired as part of the Quixel application. It is an interface program between the uh, Mega Scan textures and your own textures, for example, and then of course Unreal Engine. Um, fully rigged and ready for animation and motion capture in Unreal Engine, complete with levels of detail. Uh, you also get the source data in the form of a Maya file that includes mesh skeleton, facial rig, animation controls, and materials, which by the way means you could use this outside of Unreal Engine as well, so long as you own Maya. Uh, once you have your asset, you can animate it using performance capture tools. You can use Unreal Engine's Live Link. That's the iOS app we saw earlier. I'm also working uh, currently with vendors on providing support for ARKit, DI4D, Digital Domain, uh, Dynamix, uh, XYZ, uh, Faceware, Jelly, uh, Speech Graphic, and Cubic Motion Solutions, or keyframe it manually. Uh, animations created for one MetaHuman will run on any other MetaHuman, uh, enabling you to work across projects. Uh, we'll be ready for testing as part of an early access program within the next few months. You got to sign up. You'll get updates as it goes. And uh, if you can't wait to check it out, they are available in the Learn tab. There's a project that is available there to download. You saw it in action. You also saw it kicking the crap out of my computer, uh, which by the way is an RTX 2070. So it, it is a, a potent scene file. Uh, if you are interested in grabbing it, it is available. Where did you go? Here we go, Epic Launcher. Head on over to the Epic Launcher. Go to the Learn tab like so. Once here, you will find the new category here for MetaHumans. Go ahead and grab this and create a new project. If you are curious how big this thing is, it appears to be approximately four gigabytes in size. So there is the project file right there. I don't think you can get, all right, so let's open and show in folder. All right, so here is my file, MetaHumans, properties. Yeah, it's uh, almost five gigabytes in size. So do be aware, it is going to take a little bit of time to download and to run, and it is going to probably make your computer run like a stuck pig. But otherwise, it is demonstration or proof of the kind of results that we are going to get out of the MetaHuman creator. This is amazing stuff. I, I just... Uh, it, 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 again, it's going to come down to how it's priced, uh, but if we've seen anything as a trend, it's that Epic Games tends to price things as reasonable and then free. So basically, this will be reasonable to use if you're using a third-party vendor solution or another game engine or whatever, or a film or whatever kind of project. Whereas if you're using Unreal Engine, generally this stuff is free as part of your royalty structure. It'd be interesting to see if that remains the same, but wow, uh, I just, wow. Uh, it'd be also interesting to see how much, the member we said down here, it's going to come with a limited amount of outfits. So you've got 30 hairstyles and um, also a set of example clothes to choose from. So it doesn't sound there's gonna be a whole lot there. So I'm wondering if we're gonna see between the, the addition of hairstyles and clothing and so on, that stuff really coming to the Unreal Engine marketplace. It kind of gives Unreal Engine creators a whole new opportunity. They can actually come in and compete with the likes of, well, actually, they could probably put out of business the likes of, um, oh, what's their name? Uh, there's the poser, there's uh, Daz 3D, there's character creator. There's a lot of people in this space that have got to be very, very scared because uh, Epic Games tends to do these things and they do this in a very developer, financially friendly way. So let me know what you think of MetaHuman Creator. Is the future looking truly unreal? Let me know. Comments down below and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.